Hey everyone! Today is Tune Up Tuesday. That means we're going to tune up your grammar. And today I'm going to talk to you about the simple past, present perfect, and past perfect. First, I want to read you this short story because when you see grammar in context, that's how you learn it most easily. Instead of me just telling you, the past tense means this, the, the present perfect means this, the past perfect means this. That is not as valuable as actually experiencing it in a story. So let's listen to the story, then we can talk a little bit about how to use or when to use each tense. Yesterday was awful. I got up and realized there was no coffee. Then I got a pounding headache. I thought it couldn't get any worse. Then I asked myself, have I taken the dog out yet? No, I haven't even heard her bark yet. Oh no, my dog ran away. I realized this was the worst day ever. I had never experienced anything like this. So I underlined when I used the past tense, have taken, haven't heard, that's present perfect, had never experienced, that's past perfect. Now let's talk about what each one is. First we're going to look at the past. The past is something that happened before the present moment. Yesterday, a few minutes ago. We often use it with ago. So a few minutes ago, I started recording this. Things we used to do. So when I was little, I used to play outside all the time. Okay, that's the past. Let's look at present perfect. It's something that started in the past, but continues in the present. To explain things we have done many times in the past. Often used with since. I haven't been to Mexico since I was 10 years old. Okay, that's when I'm talking about using the word since. Uh, when we say it's been with something that we've done many times before, have you ever been to an amusement park? Yes, I have been to one. Have you ever been to Disneyland? Yes, I've been once before. That's the present perfect. Okay, then the past perfect. Usually it's regarding something that's a condition, hypotheses, so things that could happen, and wishes. When we talk about conditions, we're talking about if scenarios. If you had done this differently, you could have had this happen instead. If she had cooked dinner earlier, she could have visited her friend. Now with hypotheses, we're talking about uh, kind of similar like a condition. I was traveling somewhere and next day I found out there was a tsunami warning where I was traveling. What if I had been there? That's like a hypothesis kind of scenario. Wish. Usually we say, I wish I hadn't done that or I wish I had gone here instead of there. Okay, so those are a few examples for you. So that's the basics for past tense, present perfect, and past perfect. We did it in under five minutes, so bravo. Now I want you to write in the comments any questions that you might have, or you can practice using all three of those, okay? I dare you to try it. Also, please subscribe and like this and share it if you enjoyed the video or if you know someone that would benefit from this. Okay, see you next time. Bye.